The sun is out, the skies are blue. Rain a cloud to spoil the view. But beer, oh beer, I love you. Okay, here we are again, good people. The not Gibson Hummingbird. You can see I've put some, I've cleaned the uh, fretboard up quite a bit using some good quality linseed oil. It's always a good idea. Got the stuff there. This is what I, I use. Of course, everyone uses something slightly different and has their own way of doing things. If it suits them or will suit you, all well and good. I'm doing a fretboard. And all in that, don't forget to do the bridge. It's not needs feeding as well because it's made out of the same stuff. So the bridge itself, as you can see, isn't too bad at all. Obviously you've got the wear and tear where the strings come across. That's nothing particularly unusual. Going into what you should know it is by now. Yay, Columbus! But that's what, what I'm important nowadays. Made in Japan. Because who can afford something that's made in the USA anymore? When you've got an 80s Strat, well, early 80s anyway, going for about 15 to 2,000 pounds. It's probably 15. To two thousand dollars or euros headstock of course you give a bit of a clean up of course not bad at all I don't think anyone's been in there before me and that wonderful wonderful name Columbus which was synonymous with uh, piece of crap even 20 years ago 15 years ago no one would touch them I'm giving this a slight going over already there's some scratches here and there but hey little dink I don't think I'll really bother doing anything to that so you could say adds to the character. I want to other side again. A slight polish up. I might see if I can use something or get some tips off um, other YouTube channels, which are you should all do. Now I looked at this here. I thought, hold on, it's chipped and nasty. It turns out it isn't. It's been leaning against something. And you can pick it off quite nicely. Which I'll do uh, with my non-fingernails sometime in the very near future. It's good solid construction. Now, if you're doing a guitar, make sure you keep all your bits together. On the subject of keeping bits together, now, what do you reckon? Give it a good clean up? Well, obviously. But go too far? I don't think so. On well, machine heads, I was very pleasantly surprised how well preserved they are. Again, it's going to be a bit of a clean up. And again, find it. I've got the. Uh, Made in Japan, I hope you can pick that up. The bridge. Well, bridge is out, well, on the other side of there. Bridge saddle looks fine. These are adjustable. Another frets. Skinny. But no great wear and tear. A little polish up more than anything else will do the trick nicely. Except for the zero fret. Could I just turn that into the uh, 
nut itself? I think not. And also, I don't think I'll do anything to it. You've got the uh, where the strings have been laying across the nut. Well, it's more of a kind of string guide than anything else. But hey, still talking 40 quid. I'll give the uh, machine heads a good um, going over with uh, some good lighter fluid. Then a bit of three in one to keep them uh, on the movement because they all move quite nicely. And you know why it's called three in one? Because one can last three generations. Mm hmm. Anyway, enough for now. I'll continue to feed that until I think it's uh, good enough. So another kind of coat for a better expression. The inside is a... It's a lot cleaner than you would probably expect. But whether to... Uh, Humidify that or not? I'm not so sure. Suggestions welcome. And of course, this is the way not to do things. There's some very nice sites out there. Talk about nice sites. Hello, Randy. Hope you're all doing well. He's got some kind of foreign name at that. Shlagudzilashigada or something. Bloody foreigners. Check his channel out, you can see him on my subscribe thing. And uh, of course Dave's World of Fun Stuff. Now this one little thing I did notice. The bridge of a Gibson Dove. And the scratch plate of a Gibson Hummingbird. Is that a dubbing bird? Well, Let's keep it clean, lads and lasses. Till next time. Beer.